Hello everyone, it's a, another Gamescom reaction. This time we have the infamous Stadia. You know how we feel about Stadia, Stadia conferences, whatever you want to call them. The, they're not good. <laughs> they haven't been good yet. Maybe they're just trying to find their footing. Hopefully so. Maybe this one's better. I haven't watched any of it yet. I don't know what's going to be here yet. But so far, it's been a disappointment. I mean, the, the most they have so far to me is Baldur's Gate 3, which is pretty cool. But the game is old. And I was a child when that came out, so I had no clue what was going on in those games. And then they have Odyssey for Assassin's Creed, or Assassin's Creed Odyssey. And that's not, that's, that game's like two years old now, so that's not much. I mean, I'm sure it'll look good, but we don't know. It's, and it's still streaming stuff. We haven't, I mean, I'm sure we're there to the point of where we can stream stuff properly. And people will go by PlayStation's wayside and say, oh yeah, PlayStation knows, okay. No, it's not. It's not. It sucks. It sucks. And it's really hard to believe that they're going to be streaming games at 1080 or 4K at 60 frames per second. That, it, I don't know. I don't, I don't see it happening. I don't see it going well, at least for the first little bit. But maybe there's some cool shit. Maybe there's some, some hope. We'll see. Let's just jump into it. I'll clap it over. You see the screen. It's all good. We're going to just boom, hit play. Peggy 18. This one's super quiet. Hey, everyone. I'm Ray from the Stadia team. Hi, I'm Ray. To give you a brief update on Stadia the new generation gaming platform where you can buy the games you want and play them across your favorite screens. We're Word. also going to reveal more games that you'll be able to play on Stadia starting this November. Instead of needing to buy a Word. console to play your games, we give you <laughs> access to Google's powerful custom data centers. Our servers are designed with today's most demanding yep. games in mind to ensure your games run at the highest graphical settings and frame rate available today. I you don't believe you. Stadia to play your games on your TV, desktop, laptop, and select tablets and smartphones. With Stadia, you get 4K gameplay without annoying game downloads, patches, installs, mm. or expensive gaming hardware to buy. The days of waiting to download and update a new game are over. Just grab your controller and you're in. To play Stadia, you'll need the Stadia Founders Edition, which you can pre-order today for only $129. It comes with three months of Stadia Pro, our premium subscription for you and a friend, a Stadia controller and a Chromecast fuck me, dude. the biggest screen What, the, what the fuck? Bonus, founders will already have the full Destiny 2 experience in their Stadia library. Oh my god, there's so much happening one. and a none of it is response so far. cool. It's sold out of Founders Edition in some countries. Ah! So, if you want to be one of the very first gamers on Stadia later this year, you'll need to get your Founders Edition quickly. In our last Stadia connect, show me a game a of launch titles coming to Stadia from the best publishers and developers but in the world. Keep showing and more. Keep adding more games to the Stadia catalog. <laughs> Whether you're looking for a mythological storybook Fuck. adventure in Gods and Monsters, my or a chance to take back headphones are attached to my computer. Legion, Ubisoft has you covered. The microphones with attached to me. <laughs> so let's get to it. I'm going to pass it off to my friend Shauna. No. Member of the Stadia team. Pass it off to a game. Some more big names to add to that list. Hi, I'm Shauna, and I'm excited to share the latest titles we're adding to the Stadia portfolio. My team and I have been traveling all over the world. For years, we've been meeting with the best developers and publishers with the goal of bringing more of your favorite games to Stadia. We've been to Japan, England, Germany, the U.S. It feels like Canada, we've been going for like five Poland. minutes our with all of the shit that's CD been Project thrown at our face, one of the and none of it is a game. And it's coming to Stadia. Let's take a look. There we go. Cyberpunk. Your body with a machine. Are you still human? Is it possible to maintain individualism without any human parts? What is this narrator? Maybe that individualism is actually what creates humanity in us. 
Okay, it's a dev diary. CDR has always <laughs> been a company that okay. put a very big emphasis on the story, storytelling, and creating a very strong emotion in players. Oh, sorry. With Cyberpunk, we're adding a whole new... Hopefully you guys game know game how I feel about dev diaries, gameplay. but uh, it's CD Projekt Red. And storytelling, I'm a huge fan of them. The way you explore the world. And now Honestly, the like, The Witcher 3 is probably gameplay. one of my favorite games of all time. Any way you would like to play it. I, I can't hear myself like talking in a way over that my own audio. My opponents. And no matter what game I need it is, to get a mixer. That'd be really nice. That kind of It'd be like super nice to have like the computer audio and my mic audio out. hearing at the same time. Johnny Silverhand. Good Johnny Silverhand. The song on the Keanu Reeves. Boy, Johnny, Silverhand. Johnny Silverhand, who's a legend in Night City, a musician, but also an activist. We were creating this character, and oh. as we were. In the process, we realized, hey, it would be really cool there we if go. Keanu Reeves no, played no this way. character. Keanu is amazing. <laughs> Johnny Silverhand will be our player's guide to the city. He's with you throughout most of the game. Wake up, samurai. Wake yeah, up, samurai. This project is of a scale that we've never tackled before. The ambition is crazy. <laughs> Something like Stadia really allows more people to experience our stories. Everyone gets to experience the same <laughs> awesome story quest. And <laughs> people who don't and want a good experience. Very demanding game, but Why is it Stadia, so framey? Actually, play it uh, respectively of the power of your devices. There are many scenes that people are gonna have very strong feelings about. I hope that the lens of the game and the I do think it's ironic that will show them in an exaggerated way there's been a few times that Stadia have made live our future is gonna be streaming the grim future of cyberpunk 2077 like press conferences um since they announced and every time streaming their live conferences there's at least one hiccup just one and it's kind of like well if you can't stream your conference what are you going to do streaming your game especially a game like cyberpunk what like that's insane i don't believe you like there's no way there's no way that's going to be worth playing there. Thank it's like Potter playing Red The Witcher 3 on on Switch. I mean, I know people are saying already that Cyberpunk The Witcher 3 on Switch is fine and it's worth we picking really up. It doesn't look that bad, but We're happy to have our but at back. even that, you're, you're not like streaming it, of story. right? Something wicked you're not, right? Isn't it download? It downloads on your Switch? God, I hate Destiny. I know people are going to be mad at me about that. I'm just not a fan of Destiny. I get why people like it, though. I mean, like, some of the shit looks cool. I'm just not, like, I don't know. I don't think Bungie's made anything good in a long time. It's like Bungie hasn't made a good thing since Halo 3, and then Halo hasn't been good since Halo 3. <laughs> funny i mean like even the people who play destiny i i know you guys are out there <laughs> and hello to all of you i i'm glad you're enjoying you're enjoying this game but i feel like they complain even more about destiny than anyone which they have the right to i mean they love this game they they want the best for it but like everything that i hear about destiny is another complaint I'm just not like a multiplayer person like that though. Great battle approaches. The only like I play MMOs, but like MMOs you can do on your own, you know. A trio of a I mean not every single one. I guess that's band. what kind of what Hope Destiny is too. But like RuneScape. Platformer. RuneScape Fine. was my favorite MMO. <laughs> At least when I was younger. And I just played alone all the time.
Oh, is this is that Keen game? That was in the Nintendo thing. It's what it looks like. Or Kine. Whatever the name is. Maybe she said it. I just wasn't paying attention. I was talking. This game looks cool. The puzzles are weird and like everything's super obscure. I like it. The music's good too. I'm so cutesy. Dark Siders Genesis, a brand new Ooh, take on the beloved adventure franchise. Some THQ Nordic action. That's why I put the SpongeBob up. I don't know. I kind of like putting a different game up every episode. Like I know when I'm playing the game, I want I want the game case right there. But like when I'm doing reactions and stuff, I can put. A different game up every single time just something random in my collection that kind of pertains to what's happening not really unless if they show a new spongebob trailer that'd be really cool i want to see what the new spongebob looks like i'm really excited for that game that's one of my favorite 3d platformers of all time it's a fucking amazing game This game looks fun. I'll play it. I'll play it at least a little bit. I enjoyed Darksiders 1, Darksiders 2. I never- I didn't beat either of them. I never played 3. I heard 3 was okay. At least. At least okay. But, I don't know, maybe I'll play through them. Or at least try them. For our next deeper look at a new at exclusive least game coming to Stadia, play, the I'll play through Robot most of one and two, if not all of it. The next installment but at least try three. Orcs must die. I don't know. Two, two I liked a lot better. If I remember, it was a lot more like RPG heavy rather than like a hack and slash kind of deal. But the whole Diablo like of Genesis is cool. Tips from old Max would help. First, that bad boy. See, you want to move him slightly left over to the right 17 degrees, and then also, never mind. Just make him go boom. Holy cow, that's Did they say the title of this game like too? Billion. Did I miss that? Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is the new Lord of the Rings. <laughs> There's a lot happening. <laughs> kill. All right, is it kill all orcs? Is that what this really is? Orcs, orcs must oh, die. orcs must die. That that's what the name name of it was. I remember when the first one came out. When did the second one come out? It looks very insurmountable. Oh no. Mob army. No. My name is Jerome Jones. I'm the designer. Why are you giving me a dev diary of Orcs Must Die 3? <laughs> My name is Patrick Fuck. Hudson. I'm the CEO of Robot Entertainment. When you're making a What are you doing? You know it's going to end up in somebody's hands. Why? You want to connect with that player. That that matters. That means something to us. Oh my God! That Orcs Must Die is a puzzle game. Each the return of the Death Diary. You're trying to stop a bunch of bad guys from getting into your house. 
we get a lot of letters, you know. Or Revenge of the Dev Diary. <laughs> just make OMD3 and give us what we want. So we're doing it. I think from Orcs Must Die 3, fans can expect more of everything they want. It's just a bigger setting. The physics are over the top. And so that just creates a really fun landscape for... Uh, I for hate Dev Diary so much. I hate it. We were I hate it. Out Stadia back in Maybe Google that's what... You remember the Google show that they Google announced at Ubisoft? I don't remember the name of it at all. Maybe that's why I hate that show so much, too. Because it just feels like a Dev Diary the show. And, and that just fucking irks me so much. To the industry. Kind of the so much. I got when I saw the iPhone coming and what I thought that might mean for games. Like, we knew I don't know. It's just not the place. We <laughs> noticed the difference when we Fuck started actually me, dude. playing the build on Stadia. That's what everyone's going to get. They're not going to be subject to the power of their machine. Everybody gets that same massive power. That dude looks like he misses when That's he had, like, bleach blonde tips. I have always wanted orc scenarios. Look at that hair. Like you can't win. Always. In the war scenarios now, you're going to have a 500 mob army i mean i mean the game's way. probably gonna and be fun like but this like just kills like every momentum that i have for this that's 500 orcs that's what stadium made possible you know you get to this the looks like people to start fucking guard i know it doesn't look that bad but the frame rate right there was just awful <laughs> This is what Stadia made possible. Look, years, it's supposed to be 60 frames and it looks like 15. Windjammers, too. Windjammers. Dude, this game has so much swagger. See, this game makes sense. This is a game that could I, I could see being streamed and it being okay. Like, it makes sense. It's not super taxing. It's not some giant fucking deal. It's just simple wind jammers. Going back and forth. Making goals. Dunking on fools. Damn. God, I can't wait for this. It's gonna be so sick. So much Let's sickness. Take a look at the exciting remake of a cult classic, Destroy All Humans, from THQ. Oh! Oh my God! We can just. Hello, friends, have you ever gazed up into the night sky and wondered at the possibility of life on other planets? Swag. Marvelous beings might exist out there, hands extended in friendship. <laughs> Awaiting the moment when we humans take our first tentative steps into space. What tales will be told of that glorious day when we are first contacted by our brothers from beyond the stars? Cow shit. Coming to Stadia, but when is it coming out? When? 2019. Yeah, our from Warner Brothers are going to tell you about how That's what the trademark said. Will be reimagined on Stadia. Hey, my name is Aaron Piepergertis, and I'm the executive producer for Mortal Kombat. We're known for our solid gameplay, our quick, brutal action. I don't have a, a Mortal Kombat like near me. Bodies. Part of the reason that people resist <laughs> over and over is our in-depth story mode. These are characters that people have grown up with. They know. I'm not gonna get up to go find a Mortal Kombat. Right I Mortal have Kombat one somewhere, but I'm not gonna get up. A lot of returning fan favorite characters, as well as some new ones. Let the new era and destroy all humans. It's just an arm's reach. Time traveling element to the story. So the second one's like versions, across the room. Versions and even some future versions of these favorite characters. It wouldn't be a Mortal Kombat if we didn't have fatalities. And with Mortal Kombat 11, we've got some of the most brutal and over the top that we've ever produced. Making a great fighting game starts with the combat. It's got to be fluid. It's got to be fast. It has to be precise. Players spend hours practicing the moves to get that timing just right. What really convinced us to bring Mortal Kombat to Stadia was seeing the fast, fluid gameplay replicated on the platform. With a game like ours that's very important to us, we have a certain quality bar that we have to maintain. 
and with Stadia, we feel we can achieve that. Since the beginning of development of Mortal Kombat for Stadia, Google has been with us all along the way. They've been a great partner to help us make sure that we're achieving the quality that we expect of our game and that the players expect as well. One of the reasons we're excited about the Stadia platform. Why are we getting a dev diary just the ease of access on a fucking players. game? It is exciting. That's so already we'll out. Be able to pause the game and then go to your phone. What are you doing? Pretty cool. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm late to respond to this, but I just Stadia started no blanking problem. the fuck out. God. Thanks to Warner Brothers and NetherRealm Studios. For this logo, what are you doing, process. Google? We're honored to be a new home for one of what are you doing? Franchises. When the world only moves when you move, things get really weird really fast. Immerse yourself in the stylish action Super of Super Hot. Super Hot. Is it just base Super Hot? Which I mean is fine. It's a good game. I don't know if it makes sense to stream this either. Because will it be that instant? Would it be easier? Maybe it... I feel like it would just be a, a lot easier. Yeah. Because if it's a latency problem, like, you'll be able to move and it maybe not registered maybe maybe i don't know how games work but that just seems like it might have a lag to it that might be insanely uncomfortable mind control delete what is that like a sequel Farming simulator? Really? Really? Train sim- truck simulator? All the simulator games? <laughs> this music is not needed for this. <laughs> she thinks my tractor sexy. It really turns her. Where's this? Ah! That's my John Deere right there. This is appealing to someone. I know it is. Like, there's so many people out there that play this game, and that's why it has like thousands of dollars in DLC. That's why all of them have thousands of dollars in DLC. This game is for somebody. <laughs> this, that trailer was a lot for Farming Simulator, at least for me. <laughs> that, that music was just ridiculous for just driving tractors. Ooh, do you think they'll announce a new character? Sam show I've heard is pretty good. I've seen some of it. My friends play it. I'm not a huge fighting games person. But like, Sam show is... I, I just love it. I love everything about it. How far are we at? 23 minutes? Move the, the mouse thingy. There we go.
That was nothing new. Nothing new. What was the point of it? I mean, announcing on Stadia, I guess that's the point. But <laughs> what the? Maybe, maybe it's really not that important. Maybe pe most developers see this as like, ah, we don't know. I just feel like Google's taking this so seriously, and they're gonna, it's all gonna backfire. This next one comes from our friends. Like original Matt grid? Software. Really? One of the fastest and most visible <laughs> shooters of the decade what? is headed to see <laughs> What do you interfere with now? Doom. It's a new trailer though. That was heaven right there. No really? Oh yeah, I forgot they announced we are going to heaven. That looked like a fucking Terminator for a second. God, Doom is gonna be so sick. Ah! When does it come out? Does it have a date yet? Coming soon, just to know. Well, I mean, Stadia is like further out than Doom is, I'm pretty sure. Attack on Titan 2 Final Battle. Is this like. Just two, or is this a, a sequel with two in the name? I watched like some of Attack on Titan. I did play the first game. I didn't play two. I enjoyed the first game. It was cool for what it was. It's really repetitive, but like I don't know, flying around like with the whatever they're called, the bat packs that just shoot you across the map. Like just cutting the napes of titans is it was fun The show is okay. I know some people love it dearly and I get that I don't know It's not that I hate it or don't like it. I just I just fell off I guess I, I watched like four or five episodes and Maybe I just I don't know. It's been so long and I watched like two episodes of the second season. The ones that matter. Um, but I haven't seen any of the third season yet. Experience season three mode. Huh. So there's, there is more to it. Apparently the season three has this controversy in it. I mean the first season, it, it's an insanely gory show. It's not, I guess, that bad. But there's some parts where you're like, oh god. But I don't remember why they said it was controversial. I don't really pay attention since I fell off because maybe one day I'll, I'll, I'll catch back up. Ah, I slipped. I had my feet resting and I started turning. Bad idea. Cool! The vast continent of Tamriel awaits. We're thrilled to welcome a stunning and vibrant MMO to Stadia. Really? How the fuck are you going to stream this? These online games make even less sense. Like, I don't know. It just doesn't make any sense. I guess ESO doesn't have any... Does it have crossplay? I mean, it would make sense, but I don't think so. Stand this evil. 
But ESO is like surprisingly, surprisingly huge. My nose is really stuffy out of, out of nowhere. Ugh. My allergies have been bothering me all day. It's been the worst. But if it's not crossplay, getting back to that, how are they gonna. Do they expect to have the player base to support having a whole MMO? on Stadia cuz I don't I don't see that happening I don't God I hate gearbox I hate borderlands <laughs> Like, there'll be almost nothing that'll get me to play Borderlands. I just don't like any of it. Sorry. <laughs> God, I... I could just take this whole two minutes to, like, rant about how much I hate Randy Pitchford. But... I'm not going to. But yeah, I, I've never really liked Borderlands. It just wasn't my thing ever. I was so excited. I I remember when Game Informer first came announced Borderlands, and they had I'm pretty sure it was Game Informer, um, but they had the the bandits like going across the desert, and it was like this oil painting of it. I was like, dude, this looks so fucking sick. Nobody knew what it was going to look like. And then it became this cell shaded comic booky game that just strayed away from everything that it seemed like it was going to be. And ever since then, like, I picked it up and I tried the first one. I even tried the second one. I played Tales from the Borderlands. That was, was okay. But, um, it was just, I don't know, it was just bad to me. Like, the shooting didn't feel great. The, the humor wasn't funny. Everything looked boring and drab. Like, there's a lot going on here. But the first one was just fucking desert for the first two and a half hours. And it looked so boring. It looked... Like, look at that. That's all desert, too. But, I don't know. You know, people really love those games, and there's nothing wrong with that. A little mayhem keeps Do you? And nobody does mayhem like your I, boss. I just... I'm just not a fan. I'm not gonna play them on, on my channel, and you can't wait to play. yeah, I might t play finish Tales from the Borderlands. I played the first episode. I did like that, but uh, not the not the rest. It's Watch Dogs. Watch Dogs. London's having a rough time of it. What oh. these nasty opportunists seizing control? Did she just shoot them in the dick? Welcome to the resistance. It's up to you to build the perfect team and <laughs> I love that hog back. mask though with the monocle and the cigar. Any Londoner and sick. your next recruit. You can play as anyone. And they've all got their own gameplay skills. See this charming chappy? That's Victor. What did you done with you? He only takes off the amount of damage after his nectar pint. Or four. <laughs> <laughs> Top man. And her, that's Sue, top-notch lawyer. Once in your team, she can get your operatives out of jail automatically. You don't even need to lift a finger. Nice one, Sue. 
And this is Alan. Old codger and veritable mad bastard. <laughs> this game looks fun. I'm not gonna lie. I can't wait to play an old lady and just fucking shoot a dude in the back of the head. Does he just have a heart attack? Can that really happen? You know, just walking down the street and a guy has a heart attack? That's fucking hilarious. <laughs> just dies of natural causes, like, in the middle of the street and it's permadeath every single time. It'd be fucking great. It'd be like playing old people as a gamble. Then level them up and unlock new perks. Look. There are thousands of oh. possibilities. Whether you've got a neck for gizmos. Spider army. Or you'd rather stalk people from the shadows. Building a team with diverse skills will be critical to your success. Each new recruit will make your team stronger. You can even customize your team members. There, what a lovely hat. Of course, accidents can happen. Don't worry. This is a lot in a trailer for a game that's coming out in 2020, I think? Like, we're several months away. And they're explaining a lot. I guess there's really not another show where they can show this at? Ubisoft doesn't really have a presence at Tokyo Game Show. VGA's isn't a place for a trailer like this. And then what, what would be else? Today. If PSX the was there? In November, we're or if PSX is happening? We look to sharing more with it's you a Ubisoft game, video. so it's not PlayStation game normally. Was that really the end? Was that your last game? Your last... Oh, fuck, dude. That, that shows so much of what the Stadia conferences announcements are. They're just nothing. They're, like, such a waste of time. Like, I want to keep doing them because... The, there is some s new stuff in there. There's new trailers of games that I do want to play for other platforms or on other platforms. But, I don't know. It's just so weird. These p The pacing of these, having these people come out and throw fucking just chill and chill promotions down your throat. Like... And they need to get the word out, and I understand that. That makes sense. But, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what what they need to do to, to make this work. Just look at what Nintendo does for their, what, what the Nintendo Directs. Even PlayStation with their state of plays. Like, I'm surprised we haven't gotten one of those yet. I could have sworn that they were going to do one in July. But they didn't... Kojima is at Gamescom. But... Who knows what... What they're showing. I don't know. I don't know. The, the whole Google thing has got me flustered. Like, I have so much to say. But, like, I don't want to say it. Because I don't want to sound mean. I don't have any faith in Stadia... Uh, I'll, I'll try it. I'll give it a try. Hopefully it works. But I doubt it. I so doubt it. Especially with Cyberpunk. Elder Scrolls Online even seems insane. The graphics aren't much. But the, the worlds are fucking huge. The amount of players. The player base of Elder Scrolls Online. If it's really. If it ends up being cross platform. Like. I don't know. Can Stadia handle. Having, like, what, 100,000 people on a server or something like that? Like, there's a lot of people on those servers. It's like RuneScape numbers. Can streaming that handle that? That doesn't make any sense to me. 
It really doesn't. Um, anyways, guys. Even though I've been ragging on this and how much I hate Google. Well, not just Google. Stadia. How much I hate Stadia. Um, it has been fun. It's been real. You know the drill. Peace out, Cub Scouts.